Hey, my name is Kara. I'm an ultrasound tech, and let's talk today about what it could possibly mean if baby has an enlarged cavum septi pellucidi, or CSP for short. And this is a structure in the brain that we see on ultrasound at the anatomy scan between 18 and 22 weeks with baby ultrasounds. Also, if you guys haven't checked out my group for moms yet, please go ahead and do that. It is linked in my bio. It's a great supportive community, and I would love to see you over there. But anyways, back to the ultrasound. So this image here is the same picture, except on this one here, you can see that the picture is showing a measurement of the CSP right up here. This is actually a cross section of the fetal head, and it is a normal picture that we are taking at the anatomy scan. If you think of this picture basically right here showing a cross section like this way of baby's head, then you can see that over here is actually baby's front of the head. So the eyeballs would be over here. And then the back of baby's head is over here. And the CSP, the structure that I'm talking about today, is going to be that box-like structure right over here. It can also be imaged as three lines. So either the three lines are going to be in this area here, or it's going to appear as this box-like shape right there. And the CSP is just a cavity filled with cerebrospinal fluid. You can see it again as that little box up there, that like black area right up there. Anything that is black or anechoic on ultrasound means that it is filled with fluid. So it makes sense why the CSP is going to appear as this black area right up there. Usually when baby is approaching the third trimester in the late stages, so basically when baby's almost ready to come out and be delivered, this area here, the CSP is going to close up for most babies. This is just another picture that is similar to the one that I had just shown. And again, this is the front of the head. This is the back of baby's head over there. And you can see that the CSP is right up over here. It is that rectangular area that is between those two arrows. And again, this is something normally that we see on ultrasound. It is a routine image that we need to be taking to show that it is present. But when it is enlarged, then that is a different story. And it can be associated with some abnormalities. This picture here is showing an enlarged CSP. So again, it is that area there. They have those two yellow calipers on the CSP showing that it is indeed enlarged on this baby. When it is enlarged, it can be associated with chromosomal abnormalities. The most common one that we think of is usually trisomy 21. There is also an association with hydrocephaly, which means that there is fluid in areas of baby's brain where there shouldn't be fluid. Also, it is associated with IUGR, so a growth restriction that usually we don't see until about the third trimester when we are actually doing our growth scans on baby. And lastly, it can also be associated with heart abnormalities as well. But when it is an isolated finding, then usually the outcome is pretty good, as in if this is the only thing that is seen that is abnormal on the anatomy scan, then it usually the doctor says that there's nothing to worry about. But it will be recommended that the patient undergoes some genetic testing just to ensure that it isn't because of an underlying genetic disorder that the CSP is enlarged. I thought it was also important to note that if there is a prominence of the CSP after baby is born, as in we are still seeing the CSP after baby is born when there shouldn't be a CSP seen at all, it has been associated with some neurological conditions. I also thought it was important to note that a prominent CSP can also be associated with abnormal neurodevelopment after baby is born if it is still there. Again, it could just be a normal variant, but there has been an association with things such as schizophrenia. The CSP is part of the limbic system, which means that it does affect emotion behavior as well as memory. And there have been multiple studies that have confirmed that those with psychiatric disorders such as schizophrenia can have an increase in the prevalence as well as the size of the CSP. But again, this is not a guarantee. There's just been studies that have shown there is an increase in this. And as a last little note, there is also a high risk of having neurodevelopmental delays. But again, with all this being said, it could also just be a normal variant and every case is different. So obviously this should go without saying, but if this is seen on a ultrasound of baby at the anatomy scan, then usually it'll be followed up in the third trimester just to see if it is still prominent and also to see if it has closed at the end of the third trimester. There will also be genetic screening offered to the patient and additional scans may be needed if any other abnormalities are found, as in let's say a abnormal heart is also seen on the anatomy scan. The patient would then have to go on to get a fetal echo just to see what the extent of the other abnormalities are.